Hi guys, Jason here from Divine Hour Computers. Just wanted to show you guys today how to change um, an LCD screen on uh, Acer Aspire V5-552-8824 or something along the Aspire V5 line. Uh, they should all be pretty similar. So as you can see, the screen is toast. It's had an impact probably around here and it's cracked. And the rest of it's just, it's unusable in this condition pretty much. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut it off. That's the first, the most important thing. Given that you can't pull a battery on these Acer's because they're built in without taking the whole bottom off. Normally I'd recommend taking the battery off, but we're not going to do that today. Okay, so it's turned off. So first thing you want to do is try and get something underneath this edge. Of So I got a plastic splunger here. I'm just going to try and get underneath it. Yeah. And you just want to gently go around the edge. And some parts are going to be harder than others. So you kind of got to... It might actually help lean it back a little further even. If that makes any sense. There's always a possibility that there could be some adhesive behind these, so you want to be gentle. And a lot of laptops have actual screws behind, but luckily this one doesn't. Or screws around the four corners. Okay, so you've got to be careful you don't bend this too much because you don't want to break it. It's very thin plastic. But you should be able to continue prying then again take your time you're not in a rush so now we've just got this one edge here that's giving me a problem so again I'll look for another pry tool I'm going to try this I'm not worried about breaking the screen because it's already toast I would never do this with a new screen. Okay, so it popped right off. So now I can turn it back towards you so you can see what it's in. This comes right off. Careful not to lose it, careful not to break it. And we'll put it aside. Now, we have to remove a couple screws that are holding the screen in place. And it does look like there's gonna be four there's going to be one down here on the metal edge, one up there, one there, and one there. They're all actually on the screen, on a galvanized metal. So four screws out. Now what you want to do is just gently pry the screen forward. It should just come out on its own. And carefully lift. You just want to sit it down on the laptop. Bring it forward. So it is a Samsung screen. And on the back you have some tape holding the connector in place. So again you just want to pry the tape up. And again, take your time. You don't want to slice the LCD cable or anything like that. Just want to catch an edge of the tape. And then carefully pull it back. And pull it back in the direction towards where the screen used to be. Just gently. And as you get down to where the actual connector is, well, that cable tape came right off. We'll save it for later. The connector itself actually has its own tape. And again, you should be able to get underneath that. 
and gently pry. Okay, until we've exposed the exposed the connector. Now we're just going to gently wiggle and it should come out. Okay, then you can take the screen that you have and you can chuck it across the room because you don't need it anymore. <laughs> okay, then you go get your your new screen and this is actually an LG which is I'd say just as good of a brand as, as Samsung when it comes to screens. And it's just the reverse process. We just want to put the connector in. And again, you're not forcing it, you're just gently putting it in. And it should snap right in. Yeah. Don't put too much pressure on it, just enough to snap it. And then push the tape down and make sure the tape is pulling up on it so it applies a little tiny bit of pressure to the connector and then if you want you can get the old piece of tape that was there and tape it down again you're going to take the screen and flick the screen back up careful not to extend it too much there should be the two little stands one where the screw hole goes and then one holds the screen in the correct place. It's on all four corners. And then you can tilt the screen back a little bit just so that gravity helps you a bit. And now we're going to get the screws again. Take this cover, clear cover off. And we'll hit the power button. There we go. So we know it works now. So now we just got to put the plastic piece back on. If for some reason it doesn't work here you're going to have to readjust that connection on the back. And you just want to lightly squeeze and it should all pop back into place. Oops. <laughs> these are so thin these days you got to put a little weight behind them. And actually I find, let's turn it back off again, I find sometimes if you close the screen then you can actually pull out a little bit of pressure from behind and snap it back into place. And then what I do is just, just gently apply pressure, you see you can still hear clicking as all the snaps go into place. And then if we turn it around, we can check the back, the back hinges because sometimes they don't click in. And normally what I do with those is I try to pry up and push them together. This is where this uh, tool comes in really handy. You apply a little up force. There we go. So there we go. All the way around the edge, it's all back looking like new. And the screen itself is all like new. Anyways, this guys this is Jason from Divine Amber Computers. Uh, hope this video was helpful. And I'll post a link in the description below where you can get your own replacement screen. That's how you do it. Till next time, guys. Take care.